Hey guys, what's going on? Thirsty Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Tom. We're back with Ninja Turtles Season 3, Episode 12. <laughs> Roxanne Bebop, they've entered the fray, Thomas. Yeah. And they are iconic. Let me see if I have any of those figures, actually. A few minutes later. They have recaptured Karai, and now she's in the clutches of her not real father, father, Shredder. Hey man, I don't have them. I have, I uh, Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember I you. I have Leatherhead, and... I mean, I have all the turtles, um, and I have Shredder here. And I also have this, uh, look at this Leonardo. Like, he is a lot more detailed, a lot more posable. He's really cool. Yeah, they had that fight at Coney Island. They, they just kicked the shit out of the turtles. Yeah. My only complaint was, I think Rocksteady is, like, purely, like, an exaggerated version of, of former, I think, Ivan. And Bebop, he was kind of the same, just doing his fast dancing, and, like, him, he just looks... Well, he's a pig now. He just looks like a pig. They say goodbye to Karai, and they spray that mist on her, but she, because work. she's special, it doesn't work. Yeah. They vow, hey... I promise I'll cure you, and then in the end she gets captured again. And Shredder's like, "I promise I'll cure you, then we'll have our revenge." And that's pretty much that's pretty much what happens. You know how I feel about that statement. About revenge? Well, yeah, well yes, but <laughs> specifically about Shredder saying that to her when he's mostly responsible. Yeah, he is direct. His chain of reasoning is illogical. He's directly responsible and indirectly, like all these reasons. It's all because of like a love story of right. his hatred for Splinter and everything he lost, and yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, but I, I admire the fact that you know he is cartoonishly evil, but he does care about her, like as a, as a daughter. Yeah, he does. A twisted version of love and a twisted logic. You know, he he raised her. He still, but it's like a possessive thing. Right. Uh, anyways, guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us, check out our merch. Wow. Also, support us on Patreon. We have the full-length uncut reactions to all the things that we do, including this episode. So go watch that. Come back here for the post talk. Let's jump in. Hmm. I do believe this plutonium should react flawlessly with the sodium bicarbonates. What do you think, Professor Ice Cream Kitty? Plutonium and sodium bicarbonate. Sodium, sodium bicarbonate. Isn't, isn't that just baking baking soda? Because we're smart. Mutagen for months! If you ruined it, I swear I'll. Hold on, dude. I got this. Something's gonna happen. Oh, oh no, Mikey! You don't want that splashing on you. Mikey. He occasionally does some dumb stuff, not gonna lie. I dig this new intro. Me too. I, and I, and I, I mean, obviously I really like that storyline, so. Oh, well, that was weak. I just didn't want anything bad to happen, Ice Cream Kitty. Yeah, I'm having a travesty. What is going on here? <laughs> Its bonding rate is phenomenal! This will save me months of lab work! And I'm able to transform an entire vial of mutagen into retro mutagen! <laughs> Mikey, you're amazing! What chemicals did you use to help create the rapid cellular bonding? Uh, moronic acid and some garlic cappuccino pizza? Are you kidding me? You do one awesome thing, and you can't even remember how you did it? Donatello, be glad that Michelangelo's tomfoolery yielded the gift that it did. You must find all of the transformed people of New York and change them back. But Sensei, we don't even know what happened to them. I don't know what happened to his voice. I might be the coolest guy you ever met. Taken to Dimension X by the Krang. I can see them in my dreams. Millions of mutated humans trapped there. So we drop into TCRI, break into their portal, and zap ourselves to Dimension X. We can save New York! And I've got the perfect new invention to storm Dimension X! That's your new invention. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that's one giant step for turtle kind, Donnie. It's not exactly what it appears to be. Get down! Whoa, I love it. That's cool. They, I mean, they remind me, remind me of the tripod aliens. Prepare to be mutated by Krang. Please. Don't do it! No! Ooh, 
good shit. Are you two all right? Let's kick some crank. I know how much you hate those little pink alien things that come out of them. Yep, those are the actual crank. Yeah. That all you got? This isn't good, bros. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hi, fellas. Hey, there you go. <gasps> I can't remember his name, Dr. but Rockwell? Dr. Rockwell. Timmy, whatever happened to him? Long time no see. Turtles, meet my team. Dedicated to fighting the Krang. The mighty mutanimals. You already know my second in command. Leatherhead! <laughs> it's good to see you too, Michelangelo. All of you. And what, dear boy? are you staring at? Dr. Rockwell? The Krang experimented on my mind, giving me psychic powers and accidentally returning my vast intellect in the process. <laughs> Rockwell's the brains of the team, and this is the final member of the Mutanimals. Pigeon Pete? The world's most useless mutant? Hey! <laughs> I was just a pigeon boy. Now I'm a pigeon man! I'm the team spy! <laughs> you attacked us! You tried to destroy us! I wasn't right in the head then. It was the mutagen. You did help us, and everyone deserves a second chance. Yeah, Leo. Jackass. We trust him with our lives. Meet our benefactor. Then you will surely change your mind. I wonder who it's gonna be. Bye. Kurtzman? Kurtzman. Good to see you boys. Been a long time. I tried to find you four, but you were gone. Fortunately, I tracked down these noble warriors to help keep up the fight against the Krang. I wouldn't exactly call them all noble. No one in the outside world knows what's really going on. But now that the turtles are back, we can stop the invasion together. What? No way. I'm not teaming up with him. That's enough. We can't afford to waste any more time. The Krang have spent the last few months building a mutagen missile, which they're going to fire at the Earth itself. <coughs> Just ignore that. If you think I'm going to work with this scrub, I've got way more experience. Well, we should sit and you. break bread. What kind of break bread? Get pizza, chance. There's enough pizza for everyone. Oh no! There's enough pizza for everyone. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. What's that from? They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. It is the one called the Turtles, and the others calling themselves the Mighty Mutanimals. Get him! This asshole. He's got butt cannons. Remember that? Whoa. I had things under control! Oh, yes, you and your little stink. Darn dirty ape! Watch out! I don't remember that for some reason. You know the butt cannons? No. No! Mr. Pantsman! Damn. Dead? I don't know, but you've asked that before. Is that Terminator or... You and the Turtles have to work together. I don't think that's a good idea. We agree on that much. You both have a common purpose. We're running out of time. Jack! He is fine. 
I'm going to need to cauterize the wound. We need alcohol, bandages, meds. There's a pharmacy down the street I'll hit for supplies. The three of us will take care of him. You must unite and stop that missile before it is too late. I got it. We can disable the guidance system, or better yet, hack in and send the missile somewhere it can't do any harm. You stupid psychic chimp. <laughs> okay, we ninja into him above, and then we drop down and disarm the missile. I say ground attack. A ground attack is way too risky. I think the only way this mission is going to work is if we do both. Forget it, Raphael. Leave this to the mighty mutanimals. Come on, guys. We're out of here. Leatherhead! Wait, hold up! Just let him go, Mikey. It's not worth it. We need a way to drop down on that missile. I've got something that just might work. Oh, not this again. Uh, are we going to flood the place? Not exactly. Donnie, you're so I smart. Oh yeah, slim, thick, praying Irma. Oh God, it's disgusting. You guys are as dumb as a box of rocks. Yago. Yeah, Gilbert Godfrey. So Much of Crank's mutagen supply was spent in the invasion of a city known as New York City. What is that? We've been here for thousands of years. You can't even speak proper English. Crazy that English as we know it hasn't even been this for. You know, it was vastly different 150 years ago. Right. The Mutanimals ground attack is the perfect distraction. While the Krang are focusing on them, we'll stop the missile. Maybe we're meant to work together. Huh? Dude, Lena's pissing me off. I'm supposed to be a leader. It's just to work with people. The missile guidance system uses a form of binary code. Um, guys? What's worse than regular Krang? Flying Krang? Everyone cover Donnie! Ooh. Oh, Irma. My head! You shut up! Oh, shit. Ha! Nobody knows <laughs> you Krang from Prime! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe about having a heart attack. Yeah, I don't like heights. Setting the course for the heart of the sun. Now what do we do? Jump. No way. Forget it. I'd rather explode on that thing. That's handy. No, I mean, we've had him before. I saw my entire life flash before my eyes. What did you see? Pizza. Mostly pizza. It was awesome. Yeah. Pete, look out! You okay? I'm good. You got shot. My friend. I was so scared I'd never see you again. Nice job back there, Pete. Ah, too slow. <laughs> you know what? I think there's room enough for two mutant geniuses in this city, Rockwell. I concur. Of course, warm-blooded mammals are still considered far more intelligent than inferior, cold-blooded, tiny-brained reptiles. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. I gotta admit, Slash, <laughs> I'm impressed. You stepped up and saved your teammates when they needed you the most. Told you I changed, Leonardo. All right, fellas, time to storm TCRI. We go to Dimension X and save the citizens of New York. Cool. Very cool. All right. Okay, that was a good action episode. It was a good return to form. Uh, the Mutanimals. I, I think I have gotten wind of the Mutanimals in the IDW comic book series. I don't know if it came before this or if this came before that. But there are other mutants in that show because I've just seen pictures, I've seen action figures. No, I don't think I've seen action figures. I, I, I just got a wind of storylines through just different media outlets about the Mutanimals. I almost think it's like a spinoff. There's like a spinoff comic series about it too. I think that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting to see a bunch of 
people popping back up here. Mm -hmm. This is part one of two, but you know, Leatherhead, Pigeon Pete, Dr. Rockwell, Slash, Kurtzman's back. Kurtzman, I do love Kurtzman. And you know, I know cartoons, it's very hard for them to kill people, but you know, I thought he could have died there. Yeah, I think it would have been better if he died and then they united immediately instead of still being divided. Honestly, this, this show hasn't, it's it's given me like mixed feelings on this version of Leonardo. I mean, he, he just... He bothers you sometimes, doesn't he? You no, know, fucking his voice bothers me all the time. Oh, well, yeah. But, uh, you know, he, Leonardo's had some of my favorite moments in this show, and he's my favorite turtle. Uh, but in this iteration, you know, he's also made me annoyed quite a bit. Donnie and Mike, they don't really almost ever annoy me. Yeah. And my favorites are Leo and Raph, but they've annoyed me more in this show than, than any other iteration. And I think Leonardo, you're supposed to be a leader. You're supposed to be able to work together. You're supposed to be able to work with other people. And you're supposed to be able to unite people and do the right thing. Well, he just has a... I, I don't even want to call it petty because I guess his argument is maybe somewhat valid. In his yeah, but that's like trust, what Raphael's job. Raphael's supposed to be mistrustful and like a rogue. Yeah, like you're supposed to be, like you said, the leader and make the decision on what's best for everybody else and not put your own personal feelings in front of that. Yes. You know, and... Uh, but I, I really liked how this showed how like sensitive and, and warm Mikey is. Me too. I, I loved know? it. And my, Mike, Mikey is the one who generally is like the nicest and the, and the most uh, collaborative. And he wants to save people all the time. He wants to bring people together. And he, you know, he said the most important thing in this episode. Like, hey, you know, people deserve second chances. So I, I like that quite a bit. Um, but also, when it came to battle with the Krang, uh, we had sub, sub we had Irma come back, which is really subprime right. Krang. Uh, now they're reeling from their defeat, but it is part one of two, so I imagine uh, you know, the battle's not over. Krang subprime, voice acted by Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert Gottfried. Iago. Yeah, I, I didn't know his name, but it's a distinct voice. Yeah. So did you watch the cartoon, didn't you, in the animated series of Aladdin? Yeah. I watched all the time, and Iago is very prominent, and so is... Abismal. I love Abismal. I love that character. And I mean, I never really grew up knowing it was Jason Alexander. Yeah. But he's incredible. In he's it. great in uh, Aladdin Return of Jafar, the second movie. Yes, he is great. And he's hilarious, dude. He's... But like all those shenanigans of who he is, he, he it's like that in the, the animated series as well. It is, it is really good. And like you said, we had the return of some of these mutants that we've learned about over the past few seasons. And Leatherhead being one of my favorites. You know, he was originally a bad guy in the old cartoon. And I know like almost all these mutants, definitely the Pigeon, I've seen him, obviously Slash and Leatherhead, they are legacy characters. Right. But we also have like, Pigeon Pete, yeah, I'm almost positive we've seen him. It's, it's just cool to have kind of uh, the greatest hits all team up. So there'll probably be a team that, that'll, that'll be floating around for the rest of the series. I uh, know, but I thought it was a good, and uh, we still got part two to do, guys. If you don't want to wait the next week, check us out on Patreon right now, it's there, and uh, the next three weeks after that. We also have full-length and cut reactions. Go there, and we're going to jump out of here.